So the project's an exhibition of pulsers that will come to life using augmented reality uh, with a simple cell phone. The topics of the pulser are going to be inclusion in media, something that we wish was more inclusive from popular culture and transform it in an animated form into what we think is a better version. Our group sort of like, like we grew up with Disney and we think that it's like, it's such a popular um, piece of media that I think almost everyone has seen and is familiar with, but it contains a lot of like, with specifically their Disney princess lineup, it contains a lot of the same thin figure. They're all, they all have clear skin and stuff like that. We wanted to sort of transform that image into something more inclusive. Diversity is definitely the, the key element. And it just like, when you're, when you're bringing a, a group of people together and they all have different backgrounds and they all come from different places of the world, they can offer a perspective that you might not have necessarily thought about um, in terms of like cultures and, um, and ideologies that might stem from those different cultures. So it, you only stand to become stronger when you have diversity instead of everyone coming from the same kind of mindset. The digital revolution is done. Digital is the new normal. When someone asks me anything about, well, how does digital you know, methods or, or media affect what you're doing, I just think, well, the real question is, maybe for people who aren't using digital technology for their work and why they're not. We know how to make this kind of media. The challenge really has been in the conceptualization. We're in um, a topic where there isn't really necessarily full agreement on what's inclusive and what isn't, what's the right language, what's not the right language. And so we've had a lot of interesting conversations in terms of, of that sort of thing. And I think, you know, to the credit of the faculty and the students and our advisors, um, we're all being inclusive <laughs> with not only the media we're creating, but with the opinions that people are forming and where I think we're all learning from it and growing from it. As an artist and designer, it, it's more about being inclusive. If there are biases in media, uh, specifically Wonder Woman, then we're not if someone is said, oh, I'm Greek, and she's said to be a Greek warrior, but she does not convey that, then she's more, you're more isolated from that. You don't feel connected to it anymore. Like, you've lost that connection. You're like, well, I'm not that way, so I need to be that way, and you, like, leave your culture behind, or if you want to be like Wonder Woman, you kind of lose that interest in your own culture and you want to adopt something else that claims to be your culture. And so I think as an artist, it's important to represent each person and in, in what they represent accurately so that we don't have any, like, I guess, bias <laughs> towards them. So 